सर हियर इज द पॉइंट आई हैव बीन टू पैरिस इन द पास्ट पैरिस बोल ना बिती के वॉट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग यू थिंक ऑफ मे बी द आईफुल टावर and people standing looking wonderful in their gowns flowing gowns and having coffee having a nice gato or something like that does that mean there's no poverty in france absolutely not we have to understand is on the one hand people like us or there's statistics and there's this thought about how a traveler who comes into nepal is spending on average 50 dollars a day and on the other hand when you think of a nepali person that is portrayed internationally you would normally picture somebody who who's not so prosperous looking if i may use it that way we need to change the narrative our marketing is right our branding is not right there is a difference here the marketing done by individuals and by entrepreneurs is fine they're showcasing their hotels they're doing all of that but as a country as an economy if we are to, supposed to structure this and format this correctly our branding has to follow certain guidelines i'm not saying you quash the creativity of creators absolutely not but what i'm saying is when i got this platform a show like imagine nepal i could have said oh my god gatlang ma to dherai poverty chha tara maile tyo dekhako hi chaina maile tya bata maile ke sikheko tyo gatlang ko tyo unexplored thau bata self sustainability ko jun kura maile sikheko athwa culture lai preserve garne kura jun maile sikheko athwa happiness ko bare ma jun maile kura sikheko tyo dekhako so our focus our lens our our little lens that we are looking at things from has to be vanilla colored and rose tinted if you are supposed to brand this country well i will say the marketing efforts are good by individuals by the hotel chains that are coming into nepal absolutely but what are we as a nation doing is we are not branding nepal as a luxury vacation spot and then we say 50 dollars spend karne manche aun so obviously people who want to spend 5000 dollars a day will go to a place that they think has got more luxury that offers them so we have to be able to showcase every kind of thing that we have to offer so that we attract those kinds of people as well which is why i never shied away if you see there's a uh, in my biodiversity video we got this chance on imagine nepal the team had very kindly organized for us to stay at jagatpur lodge the tent that i was staying in was for around 600 dollars a night right jagatpur had sponsored this we were staying in a 600 dollars a night tent i was absolutely unapologetic and unashamed about showing that on camera there is a clip of that why because people outside need to know that glamping exists it's only when outsiders come to know that glamping exists in nepal you can go to chitwan and you can stay in this wonderful majestic tent with proper air conditioning great food it is only when people know that exists that people who have that kind of money will be attracted to come in yeah, and, and the spend. same tent if you want to choose for a boarding in kenya if you if you want to go there probably it'll cost you 3000 a night absolutely which is why nepal is still a better option also hami nepal ma kati ko kura hami offer girls home which we don't talk so much about i went to cambodia around 5 years ago i think uh, cambodia ma i went to this place called siam rep it's got the angkor wat temple it's got one temple the biggest hindu temple in the world and lots of restaurants you go 3 kilometers out of the city and there is wilderness there is farmland and a few atvs that's it but the way they are marketing and the aggressive marketing they do they show those restaurants and they make that one temple so appealing that people want to go to cambodia so much more than before so i think maybe hamro lens ali shift hunu parcha hamro marketing se thikai cha hamro branding ma ali farak hunu parcha jasto sa